straight for when I was on the climbing I just shine no man at the climbing Burning bitches in my third trimester Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha and if this is your first time stopping by Please subscribe. So I look kind of crazy right now. I tried this little pink curl thing because I got a silk press last week and when I tell you she is done, <laughs> like that silk press is done. My hair has definitely, like it's starting to revert back. The ends are getting puffy, which I knew it wasn't gonna really last more than like a week because I wash my hair weekly. So the longest I was willing to push it was like 10 days, like no more than 10 days. And I knew I was like, okay, I gotta wash my hair. But on top of that, I've been working out this week. Like, I've been back in the gym since Ramadan's over. And I'm like, okay, you have no excuse to not go hard now. So I've been back in my classes. I've been, like, you know, running the interval sprints. Like, I already knew. Like, it was either the hair had to go or I couldn't work out properly. So I chose to work out properly. But, yeah, the hair is done. But it's fine because right now it's Saturday and it's really rainy outside. It's really gloomy. But I'm going out with my best friend. So we're doing some shopping for our trip. I already did a big online order this week. I did two sample sales. So I did the Call Gaia one, which I posted a YouTube shorts of it. And I did another one that hopefully it comes in time for the trip. But most importantly, I also, I also well not most importantly, but I also hope that it comes in time for me to do a try on haul before the trip. But yeah, our trip is getting closer and closer and we don't have outfits. So like we're like, okay, my best friend knows of this really good outlet mall in Staten Island like i don't even think i've ever been to staten island in my life and i'm i've lived in new york forever but yeah like i just never had a reason to go there so th this is going to be kind of interesting because i literally never been to staten island and let's be real staten island is like the butt of the joke of new york and sorry to anyone who lives in staten island anyone who's watching this not even trying to shade y'all but really like it's just it's so far and it just seems so disconnected from the rest of the boroughs but Anyway, so because it's raining, I'm really not dressing up. I'm just doing very light makeup. Pretty much like the makeup I do to the office, which is usually just lightly filling my brows in, putting some concealer on, blush. And yeah, like that's kind of it. I just spritz my face to like make everything come together. But yeah, it is very ugly outside, but we're still going to have a productive day. Like I'm just hoping, I'm hoping more so that my best friend finds stuff because I know I already, I'm kind of depending on the order for the sample sale that I made to be most of my outfits and if today i buy anything it's not gonna be like anything crazy but i'm also trying to sell stuff at the real real so i've definitely been there or show that place on this channel but it's been a while so it's a consignment store so they sell used or like lightly used designer stuff so i'm thinking about going there today because i have two things that i want to sell which i might show in a second actually so the first thing i want to sell is this top from jacquemus that i bought maybe last year yeah i bought it like before last summer so it's this like crossover top and i just find that it's a little stretchy like because the way the shirt is you can't really wear a bra with it so obviously i'm hoping the shirt itself would support but i probably should have sized down one then in that case just so it could be tight on me and hold me up but yeah i just find that it's not that flattering or as flattering as i would want it to be so since i only wore it like once i think i feel like it's probably best to just sell it and try to get some money back from it Cause yeah, like if I were to find it again in a different size, I, I would probably buy it again. Cause it's just a simple top that like could go with anything in the summer. And then the other thing that I'm thinking of selling is this called Gaia one piece. So I showed it in the, um, called Gaia, like the sample sale. Why is my brain? The YouTube shorts that I posted. So, um, yeah, like it's just, it fits really weird and like, I don't know, it, it's, like when you're in a sample sale, you don't have a lot of time to look sometimes. Like you just kind of, you got to grab things and go because you only have like 30 minutes usually. And yeah, like I would just, I thought it looked a lot different like when it was hung up. And then when I like tried it on, I was like, okay, this is not my style. Yeah, there's just a lot going on here. I was like, I like, if I have a one piece, I like, to, I like it to be pretty simple. Like the most, maybe the arms have like a cross or like there's something like, but like regardless, I want it to be easy to put on. And this was not easy to put on. This was just like way too much going on, so. Since it's new, it has all the tags. It still has the hygiene sticker on it. I tried this on with clothes on because I wasn't sure if I would like it, which I'm glad I did. Yeah, so like I'm just gonna see if they'll take it. It literally has all the branding tags on it. So, so that's pretty much what I'm trying to sell today. I hope it goes well because I've never sold anything. I've only bought things from the real real. So I'm not sure if they lowball you because in New York, or not just New York, any thrift store, like you know, they don't really give you money back. Like at Buffalo Exchange or any of the other thrift stores I've been to, they always give you like, I will sell a bag of clothes and leave there with $30. Like it's crazy. But because this is like a luxury store or like 
the things are designer i'm hoping that because of that they offer you a little bit more money but a lot of times they also give you st more money in store credit and like half of it in cash so i don't know i think depending on if i see something i really like there i'll just keep the store credit but if i'm not feeling it i'll just take the cash but yeah i'm just gonna like breeze through this because it's literally like i'm just putting concealer and blush on I tried this rare beauty blush yesterday so I showed it in my Eid vlog because I did my Sephora haul in there but this is in the shade Grateful and it's like this really reddish orangish like very like reddish pinkish actually like very vibrant color and I tried it yesterday and I loved it like I put a dot of it on and I just feel like it brought so much life to my face so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on so I just put like a dot yeah, that's all I'm doing because we're not looking like a clown out here today. And yeah, I just blend it out, but it is just like, it's the prettiest color on my skin tone, I feel like. And it still looks natural. Like even though it's very, like this color is very bright, I feel like once it blends in, it just kind of looks like your skin. Like obviously you can tell I have blush on, but it doesn't look like, you know, really over the top blush. Like it's just, like it just, look how that blended so nicely. Like, it's just so pretty. And I like to go on my nose. But yeah, that just blended so easily. I love it. This is definitely going to be my go-to shade this summer. It just makes you look really flushed. Let me try to come closer. It still looks really natural on me. Like, it doesn't look too over the top. But yeah, I'm really feeling this. And then I'm just going to finish it all off with a little bit of bronzer. My Makeup by Mario. I've been using this for a couple months now and yeah, it's just, it's a good bronzer. Like, I don't know if it's the best I've ever used, but like, it's good enough that I keep picking it up every day. So yeah. And as always, we put bronzer in the crease. I barely even use eyeshadow at this point because I just put bronzer on. But yeah, I think that's it. I'm just going to put some mascara on. Really took me like five minutes. People Talk Intense, of course, by Charlotte Tilbury. And then last but not least, we need something for the lips. So I'm going to use this Ami Kole lip oil. And I really like the formula, formula of this even more than the Dior one. I just find that it's really thick and moisturizing. Yeah, and it looks like really, like it really moisturizes your lips, which a lot of lip oils don't. They kind of just sit on top of your lips, but this one is good. And for hair, it's literally just going to be a low bun at this point. Like I wanted to try the pink girl thing today, but there's no way I'm going out with my hair like this because it's just going to be flat by the end of the day, so... Yeah, we're just gonna do a low bun. Well, now I know I'm gonna look like George Washington with pink curls. Like, what is this? Yeah, this would have not worked. <laughs> so, I guess I got saved anyways by the rain. I definitely want to wear hair clips today. I haven't really worn my hair, my signature hair clips in a while, so we're gonna do that today. I have these pink hair clips that I got so long ago. I think I got it in college from this small business. I wish I remember the name probably can like search it up in my thing i don't know if she sells things anymore though but this scrunchie is a pack that i bought from urban outfitters like two years ago and i still have them so we're just gonna i'm not even gonna put gel or anything i just want to keep it really sleek that's a struggle of some parts being shorter like even when i put in a ponytail a lot of the ponytail sticking out yeah i feel like that's it <laughs> like this is literally like rainy day hairstyle we're not really doing too much and then outfit is my go-to outfit of the year like I think I bought this, was it late last year? When I tell you the amount of times I've worn this airy set, it's a set you've definitely seen me wear. Like I wear it like every week at this point. So it comes with the matching pants and the, it's like the waffle knit sweater. But when I tell you the amount of compliments I get when I wear this, like you would think I just bought this yesterday. Like even last week when I was running errands, people, more than one person literally stopped me and asked me where I got this from and said they had to go get it. Like at this point, Aerie needs to cut me a check because <laughs> I put them on to so much business for this outfit, but yeah, this thing is just so comfortable. It's It fits your body so nicely. It literally feels like you're wearing pajamas, but you you look like you're put together. Like someone even asked me like, did I, send, did I spend a lot of money on this? It looked luxury. And I was like, no, I got this from Aerie. And the day I got it, it was on sale. So I really got this for a low price. But yeah, like definitely get your hands on this set at least next fall and winter. Like, yeah it's so good okay i gave up on the bun because it was looking too spiky so we just have a regular ponytail now and then for perfume i always go for something sweeter and muskier on rainy days so 
When it's really nice out, I usually tend to go towards floral perfumes. But for days like this, I want something sweeter. So this is Gentle Fluidity. So as you can see, I've used a lot of this. I bought it like late 2021, so it definitely lasts a long time. Like literally bought it like maybe a year and a half ago. But yeah, this just has such a nice sweet smell. And then my other new favorite has been Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. Literally got this on Amazon. I think it was maybe like 60 or $70, but you get this really big bottle. So it's definitely worth it and I use it a lot like I'm surprised this is the only dent that I made because I use it almost every day at this point But yeah, I feel like these go really well together and then for a bag I definitely wanted to go with something crossbody today because I just want things out of my hand Especially since we're gonna be moving around a lot. So this is my Marc Jacobs crossbody definitely one of my favorite bags of all time I love the color of it. It's so easy to use. You can also take the strap the crossbody strap if you want but I feel like this kind of bag will be kind of weird to just hold like this so I like to just wear over and then for shoes I'm definitely going with something for rainy day vibes like I haven't even worn these shoes in so long I feel like these are my like beat up shoes at this point so these are the Nike Air Force ones that I have I used to wear them a lot but I don't know I guess because they're kind of old now I go more for my new balances but yeah these will definitely get you through any rainy day and they're also cute which kind of helps you know so I'm pretty much ready to go now. I'm just going to pack this bag with everything that I need. Make sure that I take my real, real order with me because I want some, some money back. So that's pretty much it. So I will see you all when we start shopping. We're literally planning to hop everywhere, like Staten Island, Manhattan. We're just going to do a bunch of shopping today. So yeah, we'll see what I end up finding. But again, I already did a big online order. So I'm kind of banking on that to wear on the trip. But if I find any cool accessories today, if I find any like maybe cool basic tees or something, that's probably what I'll go for. So I'll keep you updated. Navy right now the outlet mall so this is my outfit of the day 
I already showed it, but Wyra's trying stuff on. How's it going in there, Wyra? I can't fit my titties. Yeah, <laughs> that, <laughs> but um, yeah, we're finding stuff. We're mostly finding like basics right now for airport outfits. What else? Yeah, like beach stuff. We're just finding basics right now. And we still have a lot of stores to hit up today. Like this is just like maybe the second store we've been in, so. So far, things are working out though, right? I feel like we found a couple options, yeah, so. Yeah. So we're jewelry shopping right now, Nordstrom Rack. Let's I think I like this one something. better. Are they not the same? No. Oh, I love that. Like okay. this one's more pinkish, this one's more yeah, blue. that's a good one. But yeah, we're looking for some accessories for our trip. Okay, next door, we're in the Nike outlet. So we're trying to get some stuff. I got these cute shorts so far. I'm looking for these sweats here. But yeah, everything is on clearance here. Okay, we're about to catch a ferry again. So we got a couple of things. So yeah, I got some stuff at Nike, H&M. Yeah, so now we're heading to Soho because we're trying to sell some stuff at The Real Real, which yeah, let's pray they don't lowball us because yeah, I'm going on Depop <laughs> if they if they lowball us. I'm getting my money back. We're also gonna probably get coffee again because we're mad tired. Like we literally been walking around for like three, four hours in this mall, so. maxi skirt on and I can't tell if I like it I've been into maxi skirts lately does this look grandma I don't know Hello everyone, it is the next day. My hair literally got rained out yesterday, but it's fine because it's wash day anyways. And yeah, like the silk press did its best, but I think it's time for it to go. So I think I'm gonna miss having straight hair. Like it was definitely different. 
Not something I would go for all the time, but it was kind of fun to do something a little different with my hair. But right now it's Sunday the next morning and I just made this quick breakfast because I really did not feel like cooking anything. So I have strawberries, plain Greek yogurt, chia seeds, and honey. So I just wanted something with protein, something easy to eat without having to wash a lot of dishes. So, so I didn't really buy much because I already ordered things online and I didn't want to over shop because I feel like for every vacation, I think I need way more clothes than I do. And I end up just spending a bunch of money on clothes and I end up wearing like half of the outfits anyway. So I just don't want to really buy much. So yesterday was very intentional. Like I just bought little things that I feel like could maybe add on to the things I already have. So I think I showed the denim dress that I tried on yesterday at Mango. And at first I didn't really know if I was going to buy it. So I've been seeing denim skirts a lot lately. Like they've definitely made a comeback. And I love how people have styled it. Like I've seen so many cute ways to wear it. People have worn it dressed down or people have worn it with leather boots leather jackets like i just think there's so many things to do with it but i just wasn't sure if i could pull it off but i don't know my best friend convinced me she was like try it out there's so many different ways to style it it's such a versatile thing that could be in your closet so i decided i'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and buy a denim skirt and yeah like i'm kind of glad that i did because when i tried it on i didn't hate it like at first i thought once i put this on i'm gonna look like I'm in a sack and this is not gonna work but it honestly it kind of felt like I just had denim jeans on like it didn't really make a huge difference to me but obviously because it's a skirt I feel like it'll give a different vibe so I bought this from Mango in the size medium so they had different lengths of it so I got the midi skirt which is actually a maxi skirt on me because I'm short which is one of the reasons I did not want to buy a denim skirt online because I find that you don't know the length of it and these can be really long like some of the ones i even saw at mango had i just ordered it online it would have literally swallowed me up so i'm so glad that i tried the midi version on because this would probably be midi on someone who's tall but it's actually maxi on me so yeah i already showed the clip trying it on but i just think this is so cute i really feel like there's so many things i could do with it and it also has a slit at the perfect level it is not too revealing at all like it literally is the perfect thing to wear and i actually can't wait to wear this in the fall because i'm just imagining this with leather jacket leather boots um chunky oversized sweaters like i just think there's so many things i could do with this skirt and even for the summer just putting this on with a top and maybe some slippers or sandals like it just seemed like such a simple outfit to wear i don't know like i can't believe i even doubted getting this like i genuinely feel like this is gonna be so cute so i also went to the outlet mall at staten island yesterday and i don't know when i'll ever be in staten island again so i was like i guess i'll try to buy like one or two things while i'm here so i ended up buying these haviana slippers so i love this slipper brand they're very durable i actually own a pair of them but they're plain ones and i refuse to pay full price for these because i feel like paying like let's see it's supposed to be like 40 dollars. like paying 40 dollars for flip-flops just does not sit right with me because it's like there's so many places that sell these for like way less but these are a really good brand, really good quality. So I ended up getting this print of it and this just looks like vacation. I love how colorful it is. It has all these patterns and fruits and it just looks so pretty. And I got it for a pretty good price at Nordstrom Rack. So yeah, I didn't want to pay full price like I said. And then from the Nike outlet, I ended up getting these shorts here which are two-tone they got a little bit wrinkled i'm guessing some rain touched it but at first i debated buying these but they were really really affordable they're right above your knee and yeah they just seem like simple shorts to wear like if i'm just i don't know getting ready or even just going to the store real quick yeah like just very casual vacation wear so i could even throw a linen top over this yeah like i just kind of saw it as a wearing any day anytime kind of shorts and i definitely will be using it in the summertime and yeah, I love the two-tone of it. It has the Nike logo, the dark brown. We know I love me some browns. And then it has a cream color here. So yeah, can't really go wrong with these. And then the last thing that I got, because I really did not get much yesterday, were these gold pins from H&M. I think I paid like $2 for it because it was also like additional discount on it. So I wear pins like this all the time to, you know, style my hair, clips, barrettes. I'm very much someone who likes to decorate my hair. So I just thought these were simple to have in my hair collection and i feel like they'll complement the clips that i already have so that's pretty much everything that i got yesterday i think i really didn't buy much yeah like i really like i'm really depending on the things that are ordered to come through for me for this trip but update on trying to sell stuff at the real real so we went yesterday to the soho location and they're different from thrift stores i've never sold anything with them i've only sold at regular thrift stores and they're a consignment store so they actually don't take your stuff right away you actually sign some kind of form giving your name your information and then a sales associate or some kind of contact so like someone will contact you 
um, to, I guess, get the pictures and then maybe you have to send the clothes so they can authenticate it first. And then once it's authenticated, you'll get a commission once the stuff actually sells. So it's a way longer process than just go going to a regular thrift store to just drop things off. But eventually you do get the money. I think the whole process, he said, could take maybe up to 30 days. So about four weeks. And yeah, like with the whole sending it, authenticating, it sells, you get the money. So we'll see how that goes. But I just didn't want to have any unnecessary stuff in my closet. And if I could make any kind of money on it, I would rather make the money on it so i'm gonna end this video here because i actually need to edit it if it's gonna go up tomorrow and i also need to wash my hair today i'm doing laundry like just a lot of things a lot of busy stuff so i'm just gonna end this video here but i really hope you enjoyed this rainy saturday like it was rainy but it was still very productive got a lot of stuff done lots of shopping and yeah like i'm definitely feeling a little bit better about preparing for my trip Cause yeah, it's coming up really close and I need to start getting in the mindset of yeah, just getting everything together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I post videos every Monday at 3 p.m. So please put the bell notification on so you can know whenever I post. And I hope that everyone is staying safe, taking care of their mental health, and I'll see you next time.